When salts dissolve in water, there's a wide variation in the solubility. Some salts, like sodium chloride, dissolve quite well, and they form high concentrations of sodium ions and chloride ions in solution. Others, like barium sulfate, are not very soluble. They have a solubility product, a K for the dissolution reaction of barium sulfate solid going to barium ions and sulfate ions that are small, 10 to the minus 10th about for barium sulfate. So a small K means I favor the reactant side, the solid, as opposed to the ions. Now that KSP, that solubility product, equilibrium constant of 10 to the minus 10, means that whenever barium ions and sulfate ions are together in solution, the product of their concentrations has to be 10 to the minus 10. So if you have a high concentration of barium and sulfate from other sources, they react together to form the solid barium sulfate and lower their concentrations until the product is 10 to the minus 10. It kind of means that barium and sulfate ions don't like to exist together in solution. The more stable state is the barium sulfate solid. So if barium comes from one source and sulfate from another, those two ions seek each other out. So let's say we do that. Let's take barium hydroxide solution. That'll form a high concentration of barium and hydroxide in solution. This is very soluble. H2SO4 will form a high concentration of sulfate in solution. So barium ions and sulfate from different sources, if we mix these two solutions, barium ions will form the, find the sulfate ions and form solid barium sulfate. And here I've written the reverse of the dissolution reaction. So the K going this way, barium dissolving, is 10 to the minus 10th. So the K for this reaction, the reverse, is 1 over 10 to the minus 10, or 10 to the plus 10. A large K means I strongly favor the barium sulfate solid. It turns out this reaction, H plus OH minus forming H2O, also has a large K, 10 to the 14th. So both these reactions strongly favor the solid and water. That means when you mix these two, this ion forms a salt with that ion, and this ion forms water with that ion very strongly. So the ion concentration drops if you mix these two solutions. If you look at an experiment, you could take barium hydroxide in one solution and put two electrodes and a light source and a power supply, the barium and hydroxide ions would conduct electricity across this gap and allow this light to come on. When there's high ionic concentration, that light will be bright. If I added H2SO4, then those sulfate ions would find the barium ions and the H plus ions find the hydroxide ions and the overall number of ions would drop. So as you add the H2SO4, the concentration of ions drops and the light would dim. So you can track the concentration of ions using what's called a conductometric titration. A conductometric titration is a way to measure ionic strength and you can use it to monitor dissolution reactions.